First thing you need to do when mirroring your access port is plug it in. You'll get this message. Hit OK and install. Confirm. Cobb access port comes with a stage zero. That's a stock tune that you can upload to your car to begin with. Make sure your access port doesn't disconnect during the loading process and wait for the installation successful screen. After installing the access port on your vehicle and plugging the access port into your computer, you then want to check for any updates and update any firmware. To get your vehicle info, copy the AP info and paste it into your tuning form. After receiving your tune, ensure you're in the maps filter and then drag and drop your tune into the access port manager. So in order to change your map slot, you hit cancel and then pressing set plus and set minus will switch you through map slots down and up. You can hit cancel again to confirm which map slot you're in and after two seconds, the car will go back to your normal RPM. When setting up for a data log under gauges, it shows six. Default can sometimes be four. In order to change that, click top button twice, then OK. Change gauge layout, and we select how many gauges we would like. Up again, select units to Imperial, and go configure data logging. Important thing to note, we only want the parameters that we have listed selected. If you have too many parameters selected and you try to data log, you will receive an error message. Make sure all the gauges that you have showing are parameters that you've selected to data log. In order to data log, press OK, wait 5 seconds for the data log to start. Rev the car to 3000 RPM and then let your foot off the throttle until it falls to 2500 RPM. Once that happens, press your foot all the way down for wide open throttle until almost red line. Once you've completed your data log, take your foot off the throttle, wait five seconds, press OK, and that'll save your data log. That data log will save onto the access port, load it onto the computer and send to us. After taking your data logs, connect your access port to the computer. Your data logs will be under the data log filter. Then you can drag and drop those into an email and send them over. Wait patiently for your revision. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.